convert from scientific notation to decimal form. Now, I do want to say that some people call decimal form standard form. I use those two interchangeably. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. Decimal form, standard form, it's the basic type of numbers that we normally see. All right, so scientific notation, first of all, is we're going to start with a number. And this number is going to be between 1 and 10. Okay, so sometimes you're going to see that number as being greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. Okay? And then we're going to multiply that by 10 to some power. Now, this exponent is going to be positive if we have a number larger than 10, and it's going to be negative if we have a number that is less than 10. This talking about in standard form or decimal form. Okay, so I always think big number greater than 10. I always think that's big because if you want to give me $10 or more, I'm happy. Like, I'll take it. That's positive. If you're going to give me a penny, that's like less than one, not less than 10, less than one. Like, if you give me a penny, that does nothing for my life, right? I can't do much with that. So less than one is a small number, so the exponent will be negative. All right, so let's convert to decimal form. So I have 3.8 times 10 squared. Now, when I look at this exponent, this exponent is positive. That means my number is greater than 10 in decimal form. And this exponent of 2 tells us how many times we're going to move the decimal. So if I think about this, I'm in scientific notation. To take my 3.8, let's use that as kind of our base here. I'm going to move my decimal two places. Which direction do I move it to make this number bigger? Because remember, 2 is positive. We're going to have a bigger number. So to make this number bigger, I'm going to move it two decimals to the right. That's my new decimal point. Any holes get a zero. So this is the same as 380 decimals at the end. Right? If we don't see the decimals at the end of the number. Now, contrast that to letter B, where... My front number here is 4.52, right? You'll notice that front number is between 1 and 10. And then we say, okay, my exponent is a negative 3. That means my decimal form of my number is small. It's going to be less than 1. So which direction do I move my decimal to make it smaller? Well, I'm going to move it to the left. So I take this decimal and I go 1, 2, three places to the left, and I make my new decimal. So these we're going to fill in with zeros. So my new dump number is decimal point 00452. Some people like to put a zero out front. Totally, totally great. But you'll notice the difference. Point zero zero four five two is very small. That's why we have negative exponent. Okay, let's do two more. Convert to decimal form 7.103 times 10 to the fourth. And then we have 6 times 10 to the negative 2. So if you are a visual person like me, start with that front number. and Say, okay, my exponent is 4. It's positive. That means I'm going to get bigger. I need to move my decimal to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4. One whole means 1, 0. So I end up with 71,030. And letter D. When I have a 6... If you don't see the decimal, it comes at the end of the number. So my exponent here is a negative 2. Well, negative means small. Which way do I move to make it smaller? I'm going to move it to the left. 1, 2. That's where my decimal point goes. 1 hump means 1, 0. So my final number is 0 0.06.